Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel The Testing Instinct. In this video, I will be discussing why Bruno should be considered as an alternative over Postman. Here I have mentioned 9 points. First point, how collections are saved. Postman saves collection as a single JSON file. Forces use of a proprietary centralized version control system. Non-paying users often resort to parent giant JSON files via Slack, Drive or email. So Postman stores collection in a JSON file and it forces us to use a proprietary centralized version. It is very difficult to source control. The JSON file is very huge. That's one disadvantage of Postman. So Bruno stores collection directly in a folder on your file system using a plain text markup language brew to save information about API request. You can natively use Git or any version control of your choice to collaborate over your API collection just as you would with code. So in case of Bruno, stores collection directly in a folder on our file system. So it uses a plain text markup language called Brew to save information about API request. So we can use Git or any version control of choice in order to collaborate over our API collection. So that's a difference between Postman and Bruno in terms of how the collections are saved. Second point, where collections are saved. Postman stores or a collection in their cloud along with the request, response, variables, tokens, etc. Bruno stores collections directly in a folder on your file system. This applies to everything you do in Bruno. It is completely local and you are the ultimate owner of your data. So that's the difference between Postman and Bruno in terms of the location in which the collection are stored. So in case of Postman, it is getting stored in their cloud. But in case of Bruno, we are storing the collection details directly in our file system. That's a big difference. Third point is about online versus offline. Postman requests has to be logging into the application and has to be online in order to use it. So we can only access the collection which is created inside postman after login only when we are online but in case of bruno it's a local desktop application it does not have the concept of a login or account we can access the details of the collection as the collection is getting stored locally in our file system that's the difference between the online and offline point fourth one is team collaboration part in case of postman the collaboration is a paid feature so it's free till only three uses after three uses we need to pay dollar 14 per month per user but in case of Bruno, it is completely free and open source we can use git or any version control of our choice to collaborate over our api collections while Bruno also have commercial plans but uh, they are reasonably and rationally priced based on the value an api client provides Fifth one is how API requests are made. Postman makes API requests using a proprietary proxy server. This means that we are not in control of our data. We are forced to use their proxy server to make API requests which exposes eternal security risk. In case of Bruno, it makes API requests directly from our computer and we are in control of our data. Sixth one is related to collection runs. In case of Postman, it has a limited uh, runs based on brands. Only 25 runs per month for free and basic plans. This is a big disadvantage. So in case of Bruno, it has unlimited collection runs. Seventh point is loading NPM modules. In case of Postman, it requires questionable workarounds to load NPM modules, including loading from CDN and storing the entire library instead of collection variables. But in Bruno, we can simply use package.json file to install NPM modules of our choice and leverage them inside your scripts like a developer normally would. So loading NPM modules is very easy in case of Bruno. Eighth point is related like to declarative scripting. In Postman, we need to use scripting in order to update post response variables. We need to write more code. In Bruno, it supports a declaratory scripting to update our post response variables using a simple expression. We can use simple expression in order to update the post response variables in case of Bruno. And the one is declarative assertions. In case of Postman, it requires scripting to write test. The code will be more in case of 
postman in case of bruno we can use declarative assertion to write test using simple expressions so these are the main difference between bruno versus postman so bruno is completely offline and local so the details of the collections the api requests responses tokens variables all these things are getting stored in our file system no data is going outside from our system that's a big advantage case of bruno so i hope the difference between bruno and postman is easily understood with this video if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing the channel please like share and comment on the video thanks for watching and keep learning